Hey, what up, YouTube? This is Manny Me. You guys are watching Inspire Your Mind. Today we have our lovely co-host, Cindy Rayer. Say hello to the audience. Hi, everyone. I'm Cindy. So today we're going to be talking about anger management. It's a serious, intense issue, but it's something that needs to be discussed. Absolutely. Anger management happens to each one of us, whether it's at work, whether it's with our loved ones, or whether it's at home. Let's face it, we are all in this together. What are some of the highlights you have to give to our audience about this? Different ways of speaking, calm, rational ways, and not using extreme statements, not using you know words like never, always, but uh, it's really sometimes, that kind of thing. So, um, and, and kind of pull back, you know, take yourself out of the picture for a while, step out of the room for an hour or at least a few minutes. If you're prone to just attacking someone, it's for a row, if you're a very passionate person like myself, I can relate, but uh, hold yourself back. Absolutely, definitely hold yourself back. I mean, let's face it, we are all in the job situation. There was times in my life where my boss would yell his top of his lungs off, coming from a boiler room perspective, and you don't know what to do. You don't think about, shall I yell back? Shall I quit? Shall I just retaliate? The best thing to do is go back home and rewind the tape, almost like the black and white cartoon character from Mickey Mouse. And by doing this, you rationalize the situation. You'll see how funny your boss looks rewinding a tape, you know, yapping his mouth out, and you're just listening. You'll feel better, you'll feel good, and you'll have a cold mindset as well. Cool mindset rewind, as well. Rewind, rewind. Yeah. What are some I, of your highlights in this particular topic? Definitely, again, you're using the I feel. Like that's, I feel like that's, in my opinion, one of the most important things. I feel, I feel like this when you did this, versus you are a jerk all the time, and you are just a horrible person, and you did this, and no one likes to feel attacked. Um, no one can blame you for feeling a certain way, so use I statements. Absolutely. Even with the statements, when it comes to your loved one, your boyfriend, girlfriend, there's always frustration, always frictions that's happening to us. And sometimes we just don't know what to do. Shall we retaliate? Shall we confront that person? I think the best solution for that particular situation is to take a deep breath. Think with a cool mindset. Once you think with a deep breath, cool mindset, situation will just flow through your mindset. It won't even come and bypass you. In such a way. I mean, there's so many times in my situation when, when it comes to a relationship, when I actually rationalized the situation, thought with a cold mindset, and it was pretty much small little things that I thought was such a big deal, but it really wasn't. And that's how you can actually take away some of the frustration. Even write write down some of the things that you don't like about that person on paper and address it. What about you? Have you ever experienced that when it comes to your relationship with your boyfriends in the past? When you step out of it for a day or two, it's like. Like, like you said, you know, those, those small things you're upset about were not a big deal. And so it's nice when you're not um, making it a big deal. Um, you can step back and, and see that's not a huge thing. And, what, you know, once you say something, you, you can't take it back. Like, you can take it back, but you can't take it back. It's always in your memory. Right. Um, so you don't want to ruin a friendship or a relationship or a working relationship with your boss or coworker. Um, just remember those times that you have and know that in the long run, it's not worth it. So just work on those anger management skills and you'll be, you'll be better for the long run. Exactly, exactly. And anger management is definitely cause of ego, basically frustration with your own mind and just excuses holding you back. And just basically throwing it out on you. Even the boss could be yelling at you, but it's not really he's yelling at you, it's because he's having some situation with his wife at the home. So he's just throwing that frustration towards you. So don't take it personal, like I said. Just look at it as a cartoon character, rewind the tape and you see how funny it is. And that's coming from Tony Robbins and he has done this a couple times. And I've done this a million times, and it's definitely relieve a lot of frustration. Also, when it comes to your, to your loved ones, I mean, the best thing to do is take a 30-second deep breath, think with a cool mindset, and when you get back and confront that person, it won't even be any type of friction. So, meditation, take away all that anger, learn to forgive people, take that deep breath, and third, of course, is rewind the tape, black and white, cartoon character. Any last word you'd like to give to our audience member? Our book's about there about anger management, so it might be worth checking out, you know, on Amazon or whatever, and uh, uh, religious prayer as well, or meditation, wh whatever uh, method helps you calm down, but for sure, something like that would be awesome. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Books out there, there's some movies out there, anger management, any type of funny movies, definitely relieve your situation, relieve your day, and with that, I'd like to thank you for being part of Inspire Your Minds, and definitely look us up on the website at inspireyourmind.org, and also leave a comment and subscribe.